a this is a, a, a different type of bucket. Um, you, can, you can build buckets out of splines really easy, but we're going to do it now with geometry. Um, one of the buckets looks like a cone, uh, especially a wash bucket, uh, a wooden bucket. So cone is a great method um, to shape a bucket. You just click once and click it in. Get your uh, there's a lot of parameters in here. You can change the radius. Um, the, the height, um, the segments, and the, and the, the cap segments in the top. If you wanted to have a lot of more detail on the top, I'm going to keep the cap segments down to one. Um, and the sides, you can increase or decrease the sides depending on. You can have it smoother uh, or not. But what's great with this uh, method, I want to show uh, the users. I'm going to take down the height segments just for the demonstration. Think of these as wood um, panels. So what I'm going to do is, uh, now that I have my bucket, um, I'm going to call it bucket, uh, we're going to call this bucket uh, wood panels, or strips, I guess, another term. And I'm going to save this, uh, bucket wood panels. <clears throat> I'm going to convert, right click and convert that to an edible poly. This time I'm going to go to what's called sub poly mode. I'm going to window all these panels. Um, not the top and the bottom, just the, uh, the panels. And what I'm going to do is go into the extrude settings, but this time instead of by group, we're going to go by polygon. And what it does, it gives you a nice um, kind of uh, wood effect. You're going to have a seam in there. It's going to add a lot more polygons, but it's going to be a better result. And then I'm going to go back to polygon mode, grab the top, and you can see that it's going to stretch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an inset, which I like to do a lot. And then what you can do is go down. Um, now you're going to you're going to interfere with uh, the bucket, so it's better probably to do a bevel. Go down, and then take your uh, outline and bring it in. So you've got an interior um, part of that bucket. Um, I know it um, doesn't make sense. You should just use the uh, um, the wood. Um, but it's, it's a really quick way to do it um, too. You could delete that. So if we go, uh, on, just leave that for there. Whoops. And uh, you could leave it like that. And <coughs> you've got a bottom and everything. Um, or delete that polygon and delete all the uh, the edges around here too. So, anyways, that's another bucket type. Um, it's uh, um, uh, using uh, a cone primitive.